This is Perth, Australia. Again, it's uh, the building huge. You can see lots of mud. It rained, so it was dirty and lots of dust. And after rain, you have the mud stuff, you know, the, the sticky muddy stuff. Uh, what is that building doing there in the middle of nowhere? There's like some primitive houses there, but the building looks totally different from the, from the houses. And um, you can see on the bottom, those things which are covered by layers of like mud, because those look like, look like windows. It looks like the building has more underneath it. So why is like the building built like this over the ground, but the original ground was like way lower. So this is what is understood as mud flood, but I think this is in Australia. So it's very far away from Europe and from North America and from Russia and from Asia. The design of the building points out to be that it's not built by our human species. Therefore, the question is, where does our human species come from? What happened? Who lived? Who built this building? You can see the entrances, the doors and the windows. They're much higher than our human species, than our average height. So is this a building uh, built by a previous human species and then something happened in the world and then the buildings and the cities got abandoned? And that's the reason why who knows how much time it has been. But how much, how long, how much time do you need for like layers of dirt and earth to be covering the bottom of the building? Do you get, do you get my point? Uh, this, is, this is Perth, Australia. It's so like very far away from like the typical places in the world you would call Europe, North America, South America, Russia, Asia, etc. Again, and of course, Australia has something that... Um, Probably it's connected by land, Australia, with the other continent. That's probably the reason why you have all these fences uh, that you're not allowed to go beyond a certain point in Australia. They say, oh, it's the for the environment and the and the flora and the fauna. Mm -hmm. Not <laughs> whenever you have a fence, it's because you're not supposed to go beyond a certain limit, a certain point. Um, and what would happen if you go in a straight line? Like you never stop, you just go in a straight line. We don't know because we're not allowed. Nobody has done that. Uh, and the government and the military are not doing it, the same as they're not doing it in a straight line over the ocean. So lots of questions come to mind with the reset of the, human, of, hu of the human species with these, like why are the buildings covered in the bottom? What happened in the world? How, how that period of, of, of time, how long was it? Fascinating stuff. But whenever I find these like awesome photos and cool pictures, I want to dedicate sometimes uh, just for one of them because so many questions arise just by looking at a simple picture or photo. So see you next time.